The last loan I got from Finca helped me buy the generator. I got it because customers complained that they didn't get the bread when there were power outages. How much did this cost? Um, 10 million. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. I bought the generator used from a road construction company that completed a road project and then advertised that they were selling the generator. Mm. How does she get new customers? Does she do that or does she have a marketing mm -hmm. expert? <laughs> My main competitive advantage in the market is the price. I offer the lowest price in the market, and that attracts people here, but also most of the other bakeries don't have generators, so whenever there's a lack of power, people come to me for bread. The people who market my business are existing clients, but I am in the process of getting in contact with a company that assists companies like mine to grow and market their businesses. They promise to help me, and they've even come up with a brand and a brand name for me. What's the brand name? The brand that I opted for is Best Free Company. At the beginning, I chose Best Choice, but when I went to register the name, I found that it was already taken. I entered into negotiations with the advertising company so that they can help me continually improve my brand. Mm -hmm. So, did she ever imagine when she started out seven years ago it would be so successful? <laughs> I believe one day I would own a big business, although I knew that there would be challenges to get there. I thank God that I've made it, and I still have a vision to make the businesses bigger. For example, I bought additional land next to the factory, and there's another farm area that I want to purchase to allow customers to pick up bread at more than one location. Are these her, is this her fleet of cars? No, no. <laughs> This is my husband's car, and this is my car. The other two are my neighbor's cars, but the plan is to expand the factory into this area soon. Good. Um, so uh, what what is she most proud about uh, at this moment? <clears throat> I have a lot to be proud of by having associated with Finca, but one of my proudest things is that my name is not only known here, but almost 60% of the people who stay in Dar es Salaam know of me because of the brand and how widespread the distribution is. I am also starting to think of a new business involving soap, the making and distribution of soap. Just today, I am about to visit an international trade fair to go and look for machines to make and package the soap, so I would like to be able to add that as something that I can be proud of from Finca. So does her husband and her her children work in the business also? Mainly I've done this work with my husband because my son is in school. Right now the school is out of session so he's able to help out. Yeah. So what what are your plans for this one? What's he going to be when he grows up? Will he also be a businessman or what? I would prefer to see him take over the business one day, but it depends on him and what he wants to do. Yeah. So what does he say? Is he interested? To be an accountant or account engineer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Engineer or accountant? Engineer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. You like to build stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Even he, I can contract. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You you had something to do with this? Yeah. Oh, good. Uh huh. Yes. Very interesting. You want to mm. be an engineer so that he can also fix this uh -huh. the, the, okay. the machine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> good. <laughs> well, um, so uh, I guess last question is or statement. Uh, we at Finca are very proud of you. Congratulations on everything you've accomplished. Uh, you Thank are you. an inspiration to all the other Finca clients and to me personally. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Bante. Thank you.